We've all gotta die sometime, but hopefully it won't be like this. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most ridiculous deaths in comics. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at times when comic book characters met less than dignified ends, meeting their maker in some downright silly ways. Not every superhero can have a solemn and dignified death, but these are too ridiculous, even for comics. Think you know comics? Be sure to answer the trivia questions in between some of our entries. There's three in total, and the answers will be revealed at the end of the video. How many can you get right? Number 10, Grasshopper. Life sure wasn't kind to the two heroes who took up the grasshopper mantle. And death wasn't exactly great either. The first iteration of the high-jumping hero got offed mere milliseconds after joining the Great Lakes Avengers, when he was hit by a sigh that passed harmlessly through Dorman's head. His backup supersuit was later found by another short-lived hero, who only barely lasted any longer. See, his high-tech suit was built for jumping, hence the name. But after engaging the suit's maximum jump function, the second grasshopper found himself catapulted into space. And for all his bells and whistles, his suit didn't have an oxygen supply. Alright, time for question number one. What cosmic entity is responsible for the weakness Green Lantern rings have to the color yellow? Number 9, Lita87. The Legion of Superheroes, a super team from the distant future of the DC Universe, has one of the biggest rosters of any team out there. They've lost a few members over the years, and many of them were entombed on the world of Shangala. One of these dearly departed souls was the otherwise unseen Lita 87. According to her memorial, she was a fearless and powerful superhero who defeated many villains before she met her end after slipping on something called a banyo fruit peel. We're gonna guess that's basically a space banana. Slipping on a banana peel, space-based or otherwise, is a pretty embarrassing way to go for a hero. Number 8, Tech Knight. Garth Ennis's The Boys is a series all about knocking superheroes down a peg or two, and usually by extremely violent means. Take the hero Tech Knight, for example. An armored hero with an array of high-tech gadgets, you'd think he'd go down in suitably epic fashion, but nope. Instead, he retired from the superhero game and met an undignified end while attempting to save a woman and her child from a falling wheelbarrow full of bricks. In his mind, he saved the woman and went on to sacrifice himself to save the world by having sex with an oncoming meteor. In reality, we learn that the wheelbarrow landed on his head and that the coroner discovered a large tumor in his head. Number 7, El Guapo. The X-Men adjacent team Ecstatics lost quite a few members over the years, and often in pretty hilarious ways. Just look at this young mutant who was able to control a flying skateboard using his mind. He sadly met his death at the end of the source of all of his power, when he lost control of his board, causing it to fly out of control and crash into a wall, lodging itself in the hero's chest. This all came about as a result of a curse placed on the team by a former ally. Guess it's true. You live by the board, you die by the board. Number 6, The Wasp. Marvel's ultimate line of comics sought to put a more gritty, real-world edge on many of the publisher's most iconic heroes. A good idea in theory, but one that sometimes got taken too far. During the Ultimatum event, in which Magneto unleashed a massive tidal wave upon New York, a number of heroes died in almost comically gruesome fashion. The Wasp, a founding member of the Avenger-style team called The Ultimates, was definitely the goriest death in the series, as the shrinking hero was gruesomely eaten by the blob. In retaliation, Wasp's ex-husband, Giant Man, even bit the blob's head off himself. Can't we all just stop eating each other? Okay, it's time for question number two. Finish this classic saying, the only people who stay dead in comics are... Number five, Pantha. While she definitely wasn't the most popular or memorable character on the block, this dearly departed member of the Teen Titans surely deserved better than the fate that eventually befell her. During the Infinite Crisis event, the classic version of Superboy returned to the DC Universe, having gone crazier than a bag of snakes while living in an alternate dimension. The Titans, along with the Justice Society and Doom Patrol, attempted to stop the crazed former hero, but a backhand blow from Superboy vaporized Pantha's head. He even claimed that it was entirely accidental, adding insult to very, very fatal injury that took the hero out of action. Number 4, Eagle the Archer. Tech Knight is far from the only hero from The Boys to meet a comically undignified end. 
This World War II era crime buster lost his life on his very first mission, his wings and archery skills proving ineffective against the deadliest weapon of all, a simple plane propeller. Taken to the skies in an attempt to evade a German ambush, the hero was mulched when he collided with a fighter plane and was promptly shredded by the plane's propeller. He wasn't the only member of his team, the Avenging Squad, to meet a gruesome end on their first mission, but his death was definitely the funniest. Number 3. Mary Jane Watson Being the significant other of a superhero can be a pretty dangerous life, just ask Gwen Stacy. But getting tossed off a bridge might be a better way to go than the fate that befell an alternate universe version of Spidey's red-headed main squeeze. In the dark future timeline of Spider-Man Reign, MJ died of cancer, which she contracted entirely from her relationship with Peter and her, uh, exposure to his radioactive bodily fluids. Yeah, we're not gonna spell it out. Obviously, this left Peter with some pretty major issues to deal with, so it's no wonder this older version of the Web Slinger has grown bitter and angry. Number 2. Chip There's actually a pretty long story behind the fact that Green Lantern Rings are weak against anything yellow, making the galaxy's mightiest police force susceptible to attacks from banana peels and number 2 pencils. While on a mission with fellow Lantern Jon Stewart, the squirrel-like lantern of the planet Helvin was sadly and rather hilariously flattened by a yellow truck, bringing an abrupt end to his otherwise illustrious career as an intergalactic peacekeeper. Alright, here's the third and final question. Of the fine main continuity Robins, how many of them have died? Number 1. Blazing Skull A veteran of World War II and a member of the Invaders, a legendary wartime superhero team led by Captain America, this fiery hero surely deserved better than the end he eventually met. Thanks to his powers, the result of his tutelage under a mysterious group called the Skull Men, he stayed alive and active as a hero well into the modern era, where he was recruited by Howard the Duck to help battle an outbreak of Nazi zombies. But during the mission, his long superhero career was cut short when he was devoured by Tooth Grinder and Tooth Nasher, Thor's chariot-pulling goats who had become zombies themselves. We'll say it again, Blazing Skull was eaten by goats. Zombie goats. Question 1. What cosmic entity caused the Green Lantern's ring's weakness to the color yellow? Answer: Parallax. Created by Ron Mars Daryl Banks in 1994, Parallax was originally the new supervillain identity of ex-Green Lantern Hal Jordan, but was retconned to be the manifestation of fear itself. Question 2. The only people who stay dead in comics are... Answer, Bucky Barnes, Jason Todd, and Uncle Ben. While this saying held true for decades, 2005 saw Bucky resurrected as the Winter Soldier while Jason Todd was brought back as Red Hood. Uncle Ben, however, hasn't been brought back as a brooding anti-hero, yet. Question 3. How many Robins have died? Answer 3. Jason Todd, Stephanie Brown, and Damian Wayne each met their untimely end while working alongside the Caped Crusader. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.